Imagine that for the 25 years of your life, upon all the trials and temptations, tribulations and calamities, you would go about every day, people asking you, are you a boy or you're a girl? You didn't need to do anything. You just had to exist. And then you get that question. From my childhood, the most question that I have been asked is, are you a boy or a girl? I would be walking with my mom and people would be like, oh, is that your daughter? She's so beautiful. Then my mom goes, no, that's my son. In this life, there's not only two sides of things, but there's also interdimensions. And in this context, we are going to talk about androgyny. Androgyny is the possession of both masculine and feminine features. Not behavior, not mannerism, just features. One of the most beautiful androgynous person I have seen is Amare. She is so pretty. And there's also this Nigerian TikToker. First day I saw him, I behaved the same way people would behave if they see me. Is he male or female? But in my brain, like I'm not going to people's faces and people's comments rubbing it in their faces sometimes it feels like a blessing sometimes it feels like a curse people can't walk up to your page and see you and get confused as a normal human being would be but then they handle it two different ways the first group goes like oh my god you are so nice i can't even tell what gender you are and then on the other hand you get the people that will come like nanado is coming for you for your mother. i would do everything not to look like me i would have exchanged everything not to oh not to be me but yeah look at me now feeling all confident in myself started reading and seeing that most of the gods and deities were not gender conforming and i do have this belief that if god is not a woman then the whole idea of god is non-conforming it has no gender i strongly believe just be respectful i was a feminist as well see if that was not enough my singing style was quite feminine as well and so everyone was like okay double three pole four pole confused kiniko i get it there's too much going on myself i'll be confused that is this one now but you know, it's not really about the confusion. It's about how you handle, how you talk to these people. Don't just be going to anybody's comment. Look at me, grown man, me as me am now. You come into my comments and ask me if I'm a boy or a girl. After living on this earth for that long, you don't respect me. What do you mean? But all jokes aside, getting acts everywhere on social media and even kids looking at you like, Who is this one? Kids are so mean and brutally honest. But yeah, this is what I experienced and I have grown to love myself. I'm still in the process of being the love of my life. And you know, I just wanted to share this with you. It's so unfortunate that a lot don't have the ability to stay informed, but I do you the honors. And the ones that have been asking of the skincare routine, I just gave it to you. I don't get keep, I told you. The lesson for today, if you ever get confused about someone's gender, think about it before you talk. Think about what you are going to tell them because we are humans. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Senna.